Hi team, welcome back to the CISSP Success Toolkit. And we are starting now with Twister of the Day 107. I hope you are enjoying this particular series. Uh, let's go through uh, the particular question today. This particular question has been op like pulled up from CISSP Objective 6.3, uh, sorry, 6.5, which says conduct and facilitate audits. Uh, the question is, during an information system audit planning, the audit team identifies a lack of cooperation for various department heads and staff member in providing necessary documentation and access to, for review. What should be the primary action of the default audit team in this particular situation? So feel free to go through these options. Take around like uh, one minute to answer this particular question. And I will take pause for five seconds uh, so that you know I can explain you the question. Good, let's see this particular question. During an information security uh, system audit planning, the audit team identifies a lack of cooperation from various department heads and staff members in providing necessary documentation and access to the review. Guys, this is very, very practical question. And this is, uh, you know, this scenario happens a lot. Uh, those who are into audits, they will perfectly agree with my statement. What should be the primary action of the def audit team in this particular situation? now? If you feel that the team is not cooperating with you and, uh, you know, some stakeholders are not cooperating with you, they are delaying your process, what should be done, right? So that's the question. Proceed with the audit, relying on available information without further engagement. Sir, how can this happen? That means you are not fulfilling your duties properly. If you just proceed with the audit in such a situation, it is not going to help you anyways, right? This means this audit, the overall quality of the audit is going to get reduced, right? Uh, not engaging is at all not the way to go. So A cannot be the answer. We go to option number B, which says report the lack of cooperation to senior management and suspend the audit until access is granted. Um, this looks very much likely uh, to me, but again, report the lack of cooperation means uh, it is giving a kind of negative feel here uh, and even it's okay, right? If the team doesn't uh, help you overall, definitely you don't, you are left with no choice other than, you know, telling to the senior management. And it says, the second portion says, and suspend the audit. Uh, suspending the audit may be against the audit planning and uh, because you have already invested, uh, it might be a third party audit, it may be an internal audit, you have done all that process to conduct that particular audit and you're just suspending it just because of non-cooperation may not be a great thing to do uh, even though uh, this question is very closed and you may you know get tussled with that so let's park it for now we'll go to option number c and see uh, what is in there adjust the audit scope to exclude areas where where access is denied to expedite the audit process this is a very common scenario can you every time go ahead and change your audit uh, scope? Changing your audit scope itself means the audit is not complete by itself. So that way, I don't think C is anywhere close to being the answer. We'll go to option number D, which says initiate discussion with senior management to address the barriers and request necessary cooperation. I think this is the most expected outcome or the immediate outcome uh, of this entire problem statement. Uh, in CISSP exam, uh, please understand, before taking a particular action, do a few things there. First thing, prioritize communication uh, from, a, from a proper channel as per the company, uh, whatever like procedure is there. So communication is going to be the first thing. Second thing is going to be, if that is the thing, and you need to do a risk assessment, you need to uh, identify the impact of certain thing, go ahead and do it before taking a particular action. Question might be pushing you to take an immediate action and you will be very likely getting into the trap. No, you don't have to do that. In CISSP exam, please understand you have to be adhering to the processes all the time. And if you take an immediate action before, before conducting a root cause analysis, before letting the required stakeholder know, it is going to be a breach of the entire thing. 
so that is a tip for your CISSP exam uh, what you have to focus right all the time I hope you have got a good learning from this particular question I will see you tomorrow Jai Hind